Okay, fam, I made it up here to New Stanton, Pennsylvania. I'm over here at the service center uh, on the turnpike. Just stopped to uh, uh, walk around for a little bit, take my 30 minute break and get back on the road. I was able, when I, walk, when I drove up, there was a prime truck on the side of me and guess what they was doing y'all they was out there exercising something that i need to be doing okay they had this rope thing okay and um it was both of them i think they was teaming and they both had these ropes okay and um one was on the front of the truck and the other one was on the side of the truck and they hooked the rope in between like the um grill thing and they was doing their pulls and they was doing their exercises and all that kind of stuff so what i'm gonna do next week or this week or when i get back to walmart i'm gonna go to walmart and i am going to get one of those things that you could exercise with and you know um work out with out here on the truck okay so i'm gonna try that i'm gonna try to get out there and and do that i mean it's a, it's nice weather it's a good chance good thing to get out there and um get a nice little workout in your circulatory system and all that kind of stuff on your 30 minute break from being in the truck and driving um 11 hours a day okay so i'm gonna try that and see how that works so i've been looking at uh, if they can get out here and do it, I can too. Um, let's see. Oh my God, y'all, listen. A driver, I was at the I-70, uh, I was at the TA, uh, and I think it's Wheeling, West Virginia. Y'all know that TA was off the hill on the left-hand side or whatever. And um, I was getting my fuel and a driver came up to me he had a whole case of oranges so he came up to me and asked me uh did i want a bag of orange so yes girl these orange these look tangerines they look so good they look so good and i was like yes i want them so i took the bag of orange and i'm like wait a minute i can't have oranges i'm kind of like allergic to them i'll break out start itching my throat will start swelling up i will start itching all over and i will get shortness of breath and it's bad it's really bad okay i'll have an allergic attack but me i'm like well maybe these oranges are not going to bother me maybe it's just the oranges maybe it's not tender tangerines okay so maybe i can eat tangerines so i'm gonna try it right driving right i'm gonna try and have me a tangerine while i'm driving so i opened it up and i'm just like eating a tangerine and oh my god it's so juicy and so good and before you know it i have eaten the whole tangerine okay so i'm like okay i'm good i'm good no problem you know it's not gonna affect me it's not gonna affect me i'm just driving along and everything lo and behold 30 minutes goes by i start to itch <laughs> i start to itch so i start itching i start itching in my head I'm starting like itching it on my itching on my arms, itching everywhere. Then I can feel my my throat start swelling up a little bit inside. So I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get to a Walmart. I gotta get somewhere so I can get either some Benadryl, some Claritin, or some uh, Allegra. Okay, so I know better. I know better. I used to have to carry one of those um, EpiPens along with me because it was something that broke me out. It was like, uh, what it was it, pistachios? I had a bad reaction to pistachios where I almost died, okay? I remember I was at work and I used to work for the uh, Navy. So I was in my office 
uh, at work on the Navy base in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and somebody gave me an a, a orange. It happened twice, okay? One time I had got a bag of pistachios and I had a bad reaction. The next time somebody gave me an orange and right after I ate the orange, my face started breaking out. I started itching and I started um, breathing real heavy. It's like my throat started closing up on me. I had made it all the way to the medical center okay they drove me like straight to the medical center i made it to the medical center before i passed out okay the last thing i knew it was i was on the gurney and all of a sudden i just went out and i heard them get like the epi pin and they hit me with the epi pin and it was like i took a deep breath was like i could breathe so ever since then I, I was scared to like, you know, be by myself and eat certain foods. So, um, I had to always carry that epi, EpiPen, okay? But that was like seven, eight years ago and I haven't had a reaction uh, since then. But um, I drink orange juice, I don't have no problems. But it's something with the oranges or tangerines it will affect me so today I could not resist and the man gave me a bag of oranges and instead of me saying no I'm allergic to oranges I took the orange and then I proceeded to eat an orange and y'all if y'all saw me I made it over here to the uh, new Stanton um, service center and I had to get me some non-drowsy Allegra so it will reverse the reaction, okay? So it's not bad where it's intense, but um, I, I, I think I'll be giving these oranges away, okay? It is not that serious, but I am glad that I didn't have like a, a severe reaction to it because I know better. I know better. But um, other than that, y'all, we took a break. We on our 30. I got about maybe two more hours. Two more hours. We were sitting out there, me and Ripley sitting out there uh, talking to a Snyder driver. He walked up and, you know, we started talking and conversating and he playing with Ripley. Ripley got a bad way of, of licking on people and getting up on people and stuff like that so i guess he didn't mind because he got out of his truck and came over there where we was so um sat out there and talked to him for a minute i don't know what's wrong with these little gnats oh my god they is just getting on my nerves my last nerves but other than that y'all i will be at my destination today Okay. Oh, y'all, the, um, the, um, the, um, what is that? The eclipse is coming up. They're talking about it's going to be the end of the world, Lord. So, the eclipse is coming up. It's going to be on the 21st, I think it is. And I've been, like, um, listening to stuff online about it. Some people talking about it's a sign of the end of time. And, um, but it's where the moon is going to cover the sun and you're going to be able to see it in 13 states um, across. It's going to start in the morning at about 10 a.m. It's going to start. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. I'm allergic to them too. I'm allergic to like, I guess it's the acid or something. 
but I'm allergic to the uh, oranges, plums. It would just make me like break out. Mississippi, black You done knocked over your water and everything. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to get on the road. And um, that was a, a driver training uh, with his student from uh, Trans Am. So uh, they're leaving out of the parking lot right now. So, you know, the, 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 throughout the day, you talk to a lot of people out here. And I'm not no stranger to not talk to anybody or have a conversation, you know. Um, but other than that, y'all, I am out of here. I will talk to y'all later. Ripley, calm yourself, honey. Sit down, put your seatbelt on, and relax. We got three more hours of driving, and uh, you need to chill, okay? I do not want to hear. I got enough stuff going on that I need to worry about. Then you over here fussing and going on. So as soon as they open that door, you going to be running to the back. Let me get my um water. Where's my water? <sighs> Ripley, where's my water? Oh, my water and my uh, I got my water. Oh, here it is. My tea. So, I got my water and my tea. And, um, because I don't want to get in the habit of drinking sodas. For some reason, I've been craving diet drinks, y'all. For some reason, I've been craving diet drinks. And I don't drink sodas. I usually drink this. Like, you know, the, um, tea thing. It's iced tea with lemon. So I usually uh, take one of these and have my water here. And drink my water. But I need to get out the habit of drinking like a, a Diet Coke. I don't know why I'm picking up that bad habit, but I, I never used to drink carbonated sodas at all and for some reason I'm starting to crave it so I gotta break that habit but other than y'all other than that y'all I am okay I'm still trucking on down the road so but I had a little situation where I had to pull over because um I'm allergic to these oranges okay so, if you see me, don't give me no orange. I can't have oranges and I can't have plums. I can't have stuff like that. So, I knew better, but two more hours and we done with this. So, we're going to turn it. Ripley, there you go. Hush! 